Um, so what's this about? It's basically um, not about anything really, so it's just pointing out for no reason at all that what happens, what apparently happens, is just whole and complete already. It's everything and it's naturally whole and naturally fine, so to speak. Um, that's the one thing. The other thing that basically is implied in that is that there is no separation. So there is no separate entity which we are, an I. That's usually what the person would say, well, I, I exist, I am. I am me, I'm something, and I'm having an experience. I experience myself and this outside world, so to speak, something that's separate from me. And that's basically the personal experience. That's just how it feels. It's not an intellectual thing. It's not a conceptual thing. For the person, it really feels like that. I am, I'm here, and I'm separate from everything else. I'm separate from the chair, I'm separate from the floor, I'm separate from um, all the other people, and in the end I'm, I'm even separate from my thoughts, my feelings. There's always me and my thoughts, me and my feelings, me and the body. So even there, there's already a separate, an experience separation. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The, only problem, so to speak, is which is a dreamt problem, but we'll talk about that later. The only problem is that together with this sense of presence, together with this I am, there seems to be a sense of unfulfillment. That's just part of it. I'm here, I'm experiencing this, and as if something is missing, as if there's a problem to solve, or as if this needs an answer, because I can't just be. That's the person's experience. It's not enough to just be. Something seems to be missing. And out of this impression, the, the seeking energy comes. That's the person's question. How can I make myself um, feel good? How can I be in this moment without this sense of lack? That's where all religions come out of. That's where all philosophies come out of. All the seeking comes out of there. This instant moment of, oh, but this can't be it. This is not everything. And, and the need and the idea to compensate that, to find something to make this go away or to fulfill itself. <clears throat> so what this message is pointing to, what this message is saying is not another thing that you could do or that you should do. It's not another, another suggestion on how anyone should be or should do. What this message points out is that this whole setup, the whole thing that I was just describing, doesn't have any substance at all. That's what's meant when I say that there is no one. This I itself doesn't exist. It's not there. Right now, it's not there. There is no one. It's a dream. Separation is a dream. The experience of a world is a dream. And of course, this sense of lack is dreamt as well. There is nothing missing. It's just this, and it's very ordinary and normal, and there's nothing missing. There's no problem. There's no problem to be solved. There's no separation to be overcome. No me that needs to fall away and stuff like that. It's just this. And it's naturally fine. For no one, of course. No one sees that it's fine, it just is that. So, I can't help anyone, I'm of no use at all, or like anything else, so it's this. <clears throat>